What's up ladies and gents, how's it going? I hope everyone's well. I wasn't really sure on how to start the intro to this video, so I guess I'll just get straight into it. Several years ago, my mum got really, really sick, and after weeks of tests, she was diagnosed with COPD and emphysema. For those that don't know what COPD is, it stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. As it states in the name, it obstructs and reduces the flow of air to the lungs. COPD is mostly caused from smoking, but people who don't smoke can also develop COPD. But with my dear mum, it was definitely due to her smoking. She used to smoke quite a lot when she was younger and into her later years. She did quit. She quit smoking before she was diagnosed with COPD, before she knew that she even had it. But by that time, it was far too late and the damage was already done. And the kicker with COPD, it's uncurable. You can't cure it. You can treat it to a certain degree, you can slow it down, but it is uncurable, you, there's nothing else you can do with it. One of my aunties also suffered from COPD, amongst other health problems, and guaranteed every year during December, during the winter, they'd be admitted to the hospital, because during the winter time, that's when COPD is at its worst. It just flares up and it's really uncontrollable. My mum was really sick at one point, and she was admitted to the hospital, and she was admitted during COVID, and as you can probably guess, she went in, we couldn't go in there with her, we couldn't see her, and at one point, we didn't see her for like four or five months. It was really, really bad. Finally, when my mum was released from hospital, they gave her oxygen machines. So she had to be on these oxygen machines for 15 hours a day. And at this point, this is when my dad just became her full-time carer. My mum found it really hard, even just to walk upstairs, to walk to the kitchen, to the bathroom. So my dad was there constantly helping her onto the toilet, off the toilet, into the bath, out the bath, getting changed. It just became his full-time job. Over the course of the year of my mum being on breathing machines, it was quite stable for the first few months, but then like coming to the end of like the last part of the year, it just exploded and it just got really uncontrollable. And this would be the final time she was admitted to the hospital. Upon arriving back at the hospital and having more tests and examinations, they found a chest infection. She was suffering from a real bad chest infection. So naturally, the doctors said the reason why she's got low oxygen levels in her blood is because of a chest infection. And as soon as they can get rid of the chest infection, her oxygen levels can go back to normal. Although the doctors managed to get rid of the chest infection, it was the COPD that was causing the problem. And it was at a stage where now, where there was nothing more the hospitals they could do apart from tend to end of life treatment. And at that very moment, that's when the hospitals uh, put my mom on palliative, palliative care and started arranging to move her out of hospital into a hospice so her end of life would be more comfortable. But before any arrangements could be made and that she could even be moved to a hospice, she sadly passed away a few days later. So as you can imagine, I've just been spending these last few months with friends, family, trying to you know come to terms with it, trying to deal with it trying to go through all the emotions of all the grief and uh, sadly a few months after my mum died that's when my auntie passed away with COPD so you know it was brought back down to the same emotions again going for another funeral just going through all that so I've just been going through a shit time at the moment so as you can probably tell I haven't really been uploading much at all there's two reasons why I wanted to make this video I, was, I couldn't really go through something life-changing like losing my mum someone a sweet mom such a lovely person so i couldn't really go through losing her and just not not even mention it on the channel and second of all i'm not looking for any kind of sympathy i don't want people to reach out i'm fine i'm okay everything's cool but i just anyone that's going through this situation right now losing a loved one losing a, a family member or even a friend i know what you're going through it's a shit time it's really it's really such a tough time but just hang in there and one thing that I find that helps is reminiscing about past events, family times, places when you were happy, even places when you were sad, because you can find happiness in places even when you were sad. And just talk about them with your friends, talk about them with your family. Feel free to mention a past loved one or relative in the comment section, I will reply to you, it's not a problem. But I found it's, it's just really easy just to talk about it to someone. I think that's another reason why I wanted to make this video, if I'm being honest. It's just to kind of vent it out and get it all out. I just want to apologise if this video is all over the place. I couldn't, I, I couldn't really write a script for it or anything. I just found it hard to even talk about it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to at least make a video to speak about this. And also, games. Games help a lot. There's quite a few games I've been playing at the moment. Get my head out of it. Quite disappointed with Starfield. I don't even want to talk about that. But yeah, 
Again, I apologise if this video has been a bit all over the place. I just thought I just wanted to get this and get it off my chest. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.